characterized with gender inequality, this house would adopt an extreme feminist approach. So, an extreme feminist approach, what do you mean by this? This is an approach that asks for more, for more, like, it asks us to take a step higher or a step harder. That's extreme, yeah? When it comes to feminism, this is when, um, with feminism, feminism is an agenda where there is just an equality for women everywhere, and this is when, um, where, this is where men and women are linked together. So currently, we're in a world where women have less opportunities than men, and men are dominating the business world, for example, men are dominating the political world, men are even dominating the religious world, where you find more religious leaders than female religious leaders, you find more companies owned by, by men, other than more companies owned by women, and also you will find more, and besides that, you will find more men out there owning let me say plots of land, owning buildings, and owning other businesses compared to what a woman owns. So, the women, these are the mothers of our generation and, and the generations that were there before. The mothers have, or the mothers are the reason why, we are, why all of us are here. The mothers are the solutions to our society. What do I mean by this? A mother is a woman. Yes, and a woman will stay at home willingly to take care of her children as the husband is out there working. The child will grow up knowing that my mother or even their future wife or the woman they will meet in the future will be working in a house just the way their mother did. I, by that I mean housewives. So we are trying to create a world where a woman and a man are on an equal level where a woman and a man have equal job opportunities and can work together to develop the nation. We are trying to make it so that women are elevated to an extent that men can look at them and be like, we actually have a real competition. By this, um, men have dominated the world. I already stated that. Men have taken over almost every single business, every single sector in the world. Even presidents, most of them in the world are men. So if we elevate the if we elevate the women, how can we elevate the women? We can build more schools that consider women. By this, we are bringing up the women to the same level as the men. We can educate the society that a girl child is not weak, but rather a girl child is. But, but rather a girl child has their differences with a woman but can still be on the same level as a man. Um, economic division. When it comes to economic division, uh, biology states that one of the personalities that men possess the most is selfishness. So when you're practicing feminism, you're looking at it in a way that both men and women are on equal levels. But then, in the world we are living in, you see that women are on a lower level. So, by economic division and selfishness, women have the heart to divide. Whereby a woman, let me give an example of a woman who has one billion dollars and a man that has a billion dollars. The man would rather spend the money on himself, buy houses, buy buildings, buy plots of land, Although you might say not all men are like that, but most men are like that. Whereas for a woman, they will have the mentality that I have children at home, I have a family to feed, there are parents in the villages who need my help. Take an example of Oprah and Anne can see me. These are people who are very successful in the world, but they have divest their money into orphanages, into things that can help the society more. Um, Feminism is a more positive approach because we have seen many approaches like, for example, uh, I can talk about women emancipation, religion, culture, and empowering women, and also in a political way, we can talk about ways where women are just given a position. Um, I rest my case. Thank you.
Um, thank you very much. Um, an example of extreme feminism. For example, some countries have taken a step further whereby they will look at the women that are suffering and going through hardships and give them more opportunities to balance so that they can all have equal opportunities as men. Are you sure that makes the definition of the definition of the I say that's that. That's that. Um, then again, you agree, you agree that you as the farmers are using feminism, not extreme feminism as an approach. That's exactly what you said. Yes. Yes. It is what they say. Um, then again, uh, you said something about roles and patterns of society. Again, it seems you didn't understand what extreme feminism means. Did you? You did. So then roles and patterns of society wouldn't be a part of your argument. Thank you, Eric. Um, How do you, from the negative side, to the bar, resolution that states, in a world characterized with gender inequality, this world, this, the, in a world characterized with gender inequality, this house would adapt an extra feminist approach. Have you had it? We are saying that in a world characterized with gender inequality, this house would adapt an extra feminist approach. And well, I'm from the negative side. Well, we are saying that we should not adapt an extreme feminist, uh, an extreme feminist approach when it comes to solving gender inequality. Let me first break down the resolution. Well, what the farmers have failed to do. Um, world, of course, this is us with all countries, people and natural features, characterized that is so inequality. Then gender equality, this is the unfair differences, unfair violence between gender, that's men and women being unequal. They are not on the same grade. Adapting is to change something in order to make it suitable. Yeah? And then extreme is the highest degree. And then feminist, this is an advocacy that women should have the same rights as men. Approaching is to come close to something. And well, they're saying that extreme feminists, feminism should be the approach. Have you looked at extreme feminism? Extreme feminism is a complete eradication of norms to replace and uphold women's problems. Extreme, we are going to the highest degree. Well, as feminism instead looks at promoting equality, that's why they have not said feminism but an extreme feminist approach. This is an eradication of norms to replace and uphold women's problems instead. Is this really helping us to create gender equality? Well, this is where we are looking at only women's problems and extreme level of feminism. They're only considering women. They are leaving out the men. Well, gender inequality. Well, gender equality means this is where men and women should be at the same level. If I'm a woman, I should do something, and a man, a man will also do it. We are all capable of doing something. Well, that's why we are saying that extreme feminism is not an approach. Well, we have looked at feminists like Andrea Jockey. She's, she's a feminist and, uh, she's an, and she's an extreme feminist in the ability to look for women emancipation. In a way of looking for women emancipation, it has given birth to acts like misandry. This is where women are hating men instead. We are, we are doing it at the extreme end. We are we are exaggerating that issue. This is all about balancing. But then when we go to the extreme, we are leaving out the other gender. So how are you going to tell me that the world is going to be a better place when we are considering when we are only considering one place? Honestly, a farmers look deep down into the resolution. It's the same in a world characterized with gender inequality. The, this house would adopt an extreme feminist approach and then we are saying this is not the approach to, pro to promoting equality. It is instead diverting us. Thank you. I will get to my case. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Um, uh, 
I need you to answer this question with yes or no. Do you think this world is dominated by women? Mm -hmm. So, do you think right now the extreme level of men being considered is normal? In the current situation. So, for what cause do you go about yourself? Miss Well, Miss this is the hatred. Hatred towards me. The extreme feminism. Women are exaggerating things. They are showing that women are a more important issue than men. This is how other women are being diverted and looking at men as a misfortune, looking at men as people, looking at men as people who are just torturing women. Yes, these feminists are just diverted are just diverting people. They're just doing it extremely. Instead of correcting us, they're just diverting. Um, I say extreme feminism is an eradication of norms to replace and uphold women's problems instead. Women's problems instead. I say uh, an instance, like an example. Yes, I'm coming. Kind of like Tonight we're here to solve a debate that says that this world, in a world characterized with gender inequality, this world would adopt an extreme feminist approach. First of all, in my speech, I'm going to first rebut some of the points of side negative. I'm going to go on and explain and break down our approach to why our resolution today is going, uh, is moving forward. Then I'll give you the solutions to why the resolution to why we are giving such, or uh, why we are agreeing with this motion. Uh, side negative talk, uh, comes and talks about um, extreme feminism, and I think they feel deaf the time we mentioned that we are taking a step higher, we are taking, taking a step harder. We clearly mentioned that and we understood the concept of extreme feminism, which they actually don't interpret very well. We said it first, we set the terms, we set the pace. And you should have heard that, that we said it's a step higher. We are not saying that the men should not be given opportunities. We are not saying that the, the, the opportunities for the men should be paused or they should be stopped. No, we are saying that what is that that we are going to do for the women who already marginalized, who are already oppressed and suppressed in the society, in the world, what are, we, what are we going to do for us to create equality? Because in this case, we are solving a problem of inequality. In this case, side negative, their case has no feasibility at all. They don't give us content on what they want, of what they are trying to eradicate for. And in this case, they talk about misandry. And we ask them a question, for what cause do you call for misandry? Because in this case, they, are, they might not actually understand it. You can't say exaggerating, yet women are already suppressed. They are marginalized. They are in the questions. In this case, we have told you with facts. Women are the biggest number of uh, the people in the world, but they are oppressed by the men. The, we are looking at a world where the men are dominating, a male-dominated world. And we, as uh, Team Affirmative, come here today with that we choose a policy of extreme feminism. Reason being because we are going to... Uh, Extreme feminism is the first solution to society. When you educate a girl, as we told you, you educate a nation. Because they take care of, they are the naturals, they are the mothers. They are going to take, a, take care of more beyond what the men have. Because we are saying men are selfish in this case. Men are selfish. We've already told you, when a man gets money, when you give a man money, he won't think of the children back home. He won't think of uh, the wife he has back home. He won't think of the girl straight away, the sanitary towels that he needs to provide. But he will first think of the luxuries. What should I buy? What should I improve on to myself? But the women, the women will actually go a step further beyond to fight for the rights of the other girls, fight for the rights of the women. In this case, uh, the proof of our case today, we are fighting for an aim, an aim of harmony. Because when you create equality, you are engineering peace. You are engineering blessings and brotherhood between both the men and women. And we're trying to put the world at an equal stage. In this case, we have said there is inequality. What are we going to do to solve that? And we as far as affirmative come here and tell you that we are supporting extreme feminism. Because it allows the opportunity for both men and women and it accommodates all sexes. You can see that the approach we are taking it favors them so that they can be at an equal level of opportunity. We are not saying that women should overdo it. As they say, we say, they say that we are exaggerating. They are undermining our case by saying we are exaggerating. Reason being, we are not exaggerating. The women are suppressed. They are marginalized. They are oppressed. They are not taken care of. Women are the mothers of today and you need to support them. And in this case, they don't support the women. The women are going to be at an equal stage with the women. I'm saying give the women more opportunities. Not that stop the ones of the men. But when you give them more opportunities, in this case, what are you fighting for? We are fighting for harmony. Because in this case, if we are equal, we are going to fight. 
to have uh, the ideology. Our ideology is going to be for union, it's going to be for peace, and that is how we're going to make the world a better place. And in this case, we as uh, side opposite, uh, side affirmative, remind you that women are still in need of more opportunities because women are already considered the weaker sex. This already indicates to you that our case is showing you that when you are going to put women, when you're going to give them more opportunity, you are as, uh, you're inspiring a new generation for better empowerment. And in this case, I proudly and proudly affirm this motion and tell you that women should be given opportunity for an equal. Thank you, August House. I'm here again. Well, Honorable, may you please find that extreme Thank you so much. I'll probably explain that. Extreme means that you go a step higher. A step higher. Extreme? What is your source of relevance, please? Also, so? Relevance. Relevance and your source of relevance. Oh, my goodness. What? How do you. Where did you get the meaning of extreme from? Come on. By the word, by the mention of the word extreme, it means it's to more than, more than normal, more than the usual. If I give you a dictionary and you find that extreme is the highest, give this what is you tell me. dictionary because here we are based on facts and facts. No, yes, that means you did not that that you are going to Please, I'm the one asking the questions. Are you Please, if I, extreme means the highest degree, the what highest degree. Oh my goodness. It's just a, a step higher. What I won't say that. The highest Here, you're repeating each other thing that you just said. Sir, um, I would like you to clarify your last, your last few keys. Your last few? My last few. Before that first examination. My last few was we should give women more opportunities. Because they, uh, no, that's, I'm, that's I'm the not point. saying what you're saying for people to come to your side. What you said before that. But why, why I should justify it? Yes. Because that is how we are going to promote equality. And equality, engineers, peace and harmony. You're not answering the question I've what? asked you. I've asked for the view and now you're saying because I rest my view. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The job to be supported in our audience. As the presentation is stated, in a world characterized with gender inequality, this house would adopt an extreme feminist approach. Us us approaching, us using the approach of extreme femi feminism is so wrong. It's, it's wrong in every single way. And from the affirm from the affirmers, you were saying that women, women are this, women, women are demonized, women are this, everything with you were characterizing women. We were characterizing women. But it's a fact that even men face problems. They face problems. They also face they, they also face inequality somewhere somewhere there. But yet still, they never try to adopt extreme feminist approaches. They never try to do that. They always get a better way to do whatever they're doing. Men, men, for example, let me give an example of Oprah's Oprah's husband. Oprah's husband. Oprah is richer than the husband. Yes, as yes. Oprah is richer than the husband, but the husband has never come out to say, I'm inferior to Oprah, I'm not, I'm not getting this out of Oprah, I'm not getting this. And he has never said, he has never said it to that, he has never come out to the extent that wife, wife is doing that, I'm now a feminist, just because I'm lower than my wife. Get women, just because you're being straight for, not do, and by the way, you're doing something that you love. For we, the women, the mothers of this nation, we love, Staying at home, taking care of our kids, doing the house household chores. For some of us, and including I myself, go for go for courses. Courses like courses like catering, whereby you go cook at home. Work something that you love. Not doing, and you making it a bad point that we stay, we stay home. It's not a bad point at all. If your husband is going to come back, he has what. He has, he has gone and walked, but then he's going to come back and try and make you feel happy, do everything. And yet, you, you're trying to make that a bad point, making yourself a feminist. How are you going to make it? How are you going to make yourself a feminist? And now we have we have we have examples of countries with equality, 
with no feminism. And these countries include Iceland, New Zealand, Denmark, Portugal, and Australia, and more others that I can't even mention. We, you think, just because in Uganda this is happening, that it should be that the world, how, how can you demonize the world, yet in countries like Iceland, Iceland, Net, Denmark, Portugal, if there is equality, no feminism at all. They have those problems because women are not dominating. They have those problems because a woman is sitting at home doing nothing. But if you give a woman, and by the way, women have very bright minds, they can start up something and then make good use of it so that a man doesn't have to suffer alone. Um, uh, another thing is that we are talking about feminism here. We're not talking about men problems. I don't know why the second speaker um, came, the first speaker, the first speaker came and said that men have problems. Excuse me, we came here to talk about feminism. We don't want to know about what problems men have because we are trying to elevate the women who are already being underlooked. Um, first of all, I'd like to um, echo on what my speaker said, that solution to our society begins with a woman. First of all, when a, when a girl is raised well, 
into a, um, a young lady she goes to school or maybe even if she doesn't go to school for those lower class ladies she gets a good upbringing there is a very high chance that the people she's going to produce are going to be better people in this world we don't have to look at women as just like an object or maybe I'm going to marry a woman so that she comes and then she works at my house and then that's it she looks after the children what are the children going to learn from the mom being a housewife Nothing, and yet they spend most of the time with their mom. Um, and then uh, another thing is that the first speaker came here and, and, and said that um, misandry is already happening. And I asked her to give me an instance or a country or a place where misandry is already happening, where men are having completely, um, where women are having completely total hate for, for men and I asked her to give me an instance and she did not. And then our resolution states that this house would adopt, would adopt extreme. But the way she was trying to bring it up, it's like she's saying that we already adopted the extreme what? We already adopted the extreme feminism approach. My dear, we are here to suggest, we are here to give facts, and we are here to find a way forward. So our way forward is to educate the girl child, to teach the female, to give the woman more opportunities into this world, to make sure that she, to make sure that she has a, a greater view of what this world is about. Because women's minds are so intelligent, they are so they are, they are diligent. First of all, women are flawless in whatever they do. And once you educate a woman, you have truly educated the world. You have founded a nation. in her activism, she has promoted hatred towards men, and that is where the misandry comes from. She has promoted, she has promoted hatred towards men, and she's from France, in case you did not know, and in France there is a high rate of crimes against men based on their gender. Um, furthermore, uh, furthermore they are, these, this, extreme, this extreme feminists have promoted, have heightened misogyny, which is, which is the, men, the men fighting back to women. And that is also something the farmers fail to, fail to note and that we are not blaming men like they are for our, our gender inequality. We are trying to promote both genders and let us use it to build an equal society. The second farmer, the second farmer came to rebut our points. However, she was giving false definitions. But of course, like they said, it is, it, is their, it is their side to do it. If they decide to give us false points, we will give you the facts and you will decide which side you want to take, the factual or the lies. Then, um, they did not understand that education for females is already in progress. It is already in process. Feminism has promoted, not extreme feminism, she's not married. Feminism and women emancipation has already promoted female female education and quality education, which is why the president of Uganda allowed pregnant girls, over 700,000 girls, to go back to school despite their state. And this is also something they have failed to note, that we do not need extreme feminism where we are going to end up excluding the men and the boys from our gender equal world. We do not need that to come and disrupt our argument. A second negator, however, 
However, say, came and, and noted, shed light that men have men to face these kinds of issues. They do face gender discrimination because our world is going to a place where we have women in power currently. They did mention Oprah, but we to mention billionaires like like Rihanna, who we didn't have those days. In a company like that, they are bound to face something like that. But have they ever, have they ever adopted extreme misogyny? I pose that to the, the audience. Maybe the farmers are a bit taken back. Have they adopted extreme misogyny on women? Furthermore, um, we are in this world to promote equality, which is the theme of today, to shatter the bias. We are in this world to promote equality. And like my second, neg second negator said, um, Iceland and Denmark have gender equality, but have not adopted, have not adopted extreme feminism. And only 10% of their population is feminist. And that is what we are trying to say, that how have they adopted gender equality without being extreme feminism and leaving out their other male population? Finally, the third, the third a farmer, the third a farmer, Team negators, you come with an alternative. You say, guys, no, age limit. We, sh we, should, we, sh we shouldn't remove age limit because of this and this. Or we should remove age limit because of this and this. Maybe, why can't we try, why can't we try out term limits if age limit is bad? We remove age limit and we try out with term limit, replacing. So you give us, you attack what affirmative has given you, right? After taking what affirmative has given you, then give us another option for the table. Because now you say, yeah, it's not like well, water is better than fire, where you have those are value debates where you can have a hundred arguments, but this one is factual. That we are chasing gender equality, we are chasing feminism. If you are eradicating feminism, what is your best alternative for it? Given your pro procedures, you have given everything, but then also the other people have attacked and introduced this one, have given in this one, but you find how somewhere, somehow, you have lost it. Yeah. Then another thing, you should also learn burdens, team burdens. There is a team that one of their speakers introduced a topic, what the other speaker would have done. Yes, for that purpose, and I think you have got it already. Yes. yes. Your role in policy resolutions, in policy resolutions, the key person here, the key person in all is the first speaker. Feed that person with, feed that person with all you have. Tell that person to say, because his work is just trap. You're not, who are you arguing with? First of all, your work is to lay out on the table that ladies and gentlemen want to introduce a new bill, that this bill is going to work this and this, we are already working with this, the government is going to do this and this, please, we have also patterned with this one, we have also introduced this one, we shall do this, these are the advantages, these are the disadvantages, these are the, uh, the recommendation, how we can cover the disadvantage, leave the table. 
now later the gate has spread that way. Uh, burdens, yeah, team burdens, they can be a peer team. That cutting work. After this person leaves the stage, say, man, you have not talked about this one, but let me, let me, you, you go elaborate this point. Eh? There are those points which you need to stick on. Choose one clash point, stick on that clash point, like, like here, I think education has been a clash point. I've been actually in every person's speech here, I've been about education, and how ladies have been educated in this area. So, yeah, I think that one, and I think also you need to research. Yeah, like, for example, you come and lie in our house with Oprah Winfrey. <laughs> No problem with this. No problem with this. No problem with this. Such a tough marriage. Such a healthy man. Also, also research matters. Research matters. Before you utter something, first, uh, first, uh, first ask your teammates. Do you know Prowin Freak? No, if you don't know Prowin Freak. Here, I'm going to judge according to the technicalities of the resolution. I'm going to judge the technicalities of policy resolution, which team gave the best alternative, which team followed the rules of a policy resolution. Did you do your work of reputation? Did you do your work of proving? Affirmative, your work remains. You stick on your point, you prove, you prove. Your work is arguing, giving an alternative, defending your argument. Did you do that? Think about it, and you know the best winning team. Okay, I wish you good luck.